So congrats, guys. Where does it rank among your best memories on a tennis court? Uh, for me, honestly, you know, I thought, you know, I've won some big titles around the world, played some amazing matches. This one ranks one for me. Um, when I say I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else, I mean it. Like, it was just special. Every, the whole week, just even winning each round, you know, I didn't take it for granted. I was, like, soaking it in. And not one time did it cross my mind that we were going to win the title. Not one mind. Maybe when we got to about the quarters, I started maybe thinking. But honestly, like, the dedication I showed all week for my team and, like, I'm just super proud of myself the way, you know, I could have, you know, not really cared too much after I lost to Medvedev, but doing it with Cock is insane. This ranks one for me. Yeah, I mean, I've I've had an unbelievable summer. Con comparing to what I've kind of gone through in the years I've had the last few years, it's I couldn't have asked for anything more. Adelaide was number one for me, but this has trumped it. I mean, to be a Grand Slam champion with my boy, we've known each other since we were eight, nine years old, and done some done some serious things together. We've had uh, some serious experiences, but this is uh, yeah, this is incredible. I, I, we didn't expect this at all. Put that in perspective. So the last pair to win a junior slam and then go on and win a senior slam is the Bryan brothers who went on to win 16. So it's That's pretty, not going to be us. We're pretty, not close. pretty rare territory. But does it? Do you sort of get inspired now to think, well, you know, we could go on and do this for for years and, and have success around the world? I mean, we are we aren't the Bryan brothers. What they did is is incredible, and I don't think that's us. But I mean, it shows it goes to show when we play together and we're locked in. I mean, anything's possible. We we hope to play a bit more this year. Um, we definitely don't play a traditional doubles. Uh, I think I'd be surprised if anyone's won a doubles slam. I'm sure there have been, but that play like us. So it's pretty pretty incredible, and it shows you don't have to serve volley for all those purists out there. Nick, just uh, I think we've been spoken about a, a, a bit this week about your maturity and how dedicated you've been. Can you just give us an insight as to what that looks like? What have, have there been anything you've missed or any extra session you've done? How does this compare week compared to what you? might have done in previous times? Oh, I mean, I'm just... I feel like a completely different person, to be honest. I'm just, um, you know, just happy, honestly. I mean, on my off days, I was waking up 7.30, coming here, hitting at 8.30, ice bath, and it just... I just thank my team, you know. They've, you know... In the past, I haven't had that many good people around me, and, you know, they've taken advantage of me, and I've just, you know, I've had... I can't complain. I've had an amazing two weeks. I've had some amazing experiences, and I've just gone about it the right way. And, you know, I, I owe it to Cock, you know, like the way he came out this summer and, and won that tournament. And then, you know, I'm not going to ruin, like, we don't know how many Oz Opens we, we're going to play in the future due to injury or just, you know, deciding not to play. So I thought there was a chip on my shoulder to do everything I can to play and play well and, and look what happened. You know, this is a memory that we're never going to forget. We're going to grow old and we're always going to remember that time we rolled out, out off, rolled off the couch and just <laughs> won Oz Open, honestly. <laughs> Like, it's, it's fucking nuts. crazy, it's man. Fucking nuts. Um, can I ask um, what it was like to kind of share the stage a little bit with, with Ash tonight? Obviously, another phenomenal achievement um, from her. Did you guys get to watch much of her match while you were warming up? And I know you saw it. There was a bit of crossover in the, in the bowels of the stadium. Yeah, of course we watched. We were following. I'm super pumped for her. She's, uh, she's been an incredible player, incredible role model. She deserves it. She's, uh, she's done everything right. Um, and goes about it the right way. Uh, to see the success she's having, um, they come, she comes from a great family. I've known them for a long time. I used to travel with her. We had the same like billet, if you will, when we were younger, traveling in Holland. And yeah, I remembered her since she was our age when we were like eight, nine again. So mm. yeah, we're super happy for her and she definitely deserves it. I was super pumped when I saw she got the W. Great. Nick, when Ash came off the court and she was being hugged by family and friends, mm. I saw you standing up. You were watching all that with a big smile on your face. So for both of you, going out after what she did, mm. was that extra inspiration for you when going out onto the onto the court? Uh, for me, no. I'm not a you know jealous or envious person. I just wanted to sit back and see. You know, I know how hard she works, all the boxes she ticks, and it's not really surprising to me. You know, as, at a young age, we knew that she was going to do some special things in this sport. She just had to be in the right mindset. Um, but I just enjoy seeing people like happy and celebra celebrating a great result. Like I just wanted to observe and I wasn't trying to translate that onto the doubles court or imagining myself winning it. I was just like just watching and soaking it all in. It was a special moment, um, you know, just to see the people around her that have done so much and actually care about her well-being. I just was observing and taking it all in. It's a special moment. 
maybe doubles can bring out the best in people, as you say, seeing other people happy. I mean, I imagine tennis and singles can at times be a bit lonely, but being able to share that with somebody directly makes it even more special. Definitely. Oh, we both love basketball. We love that team environment. We've said it before. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, there aren't many people um, that I would, you know, call close friends to me, and Thanasi's right up there. I, I would do anything for the guy. Got a lot of time for him. Thanks, man. No worries, bro. I'll make it up to you. <laughs> um, but like, I don't know. I just love team. Like, it's just I think that's what it's about. Like, it would be awesome to one day, you know, I won. I've won some titles. It feels good, singles. But this one ranks top for some reason. You come on. You. Uh, yeah, uh, the other boys spoke about how you sort of your single specialists and you just were absolutely on tonight. They they, they were really complimentary the way you you played and all that. I read they were we were disrespecting our opponents in a quote. Um, yeah. yeah, they did say that tonight. They were. They yeah, said that it's you tough were, to say that after a loss. Isn't it? <laughs> um, well, I just want to ask. I mean, is it the future of doubles? Is the way you boys play tonight? Are we going to see a shift? Do you think, given you've just got a grand slam and teams do like to copy the the, the best? Um, I don't think so. I mean, it's just something you brought up. You brought up playing. Your, your game is your game, and your style is your style. I mean, I think if doubles players try and play how we play, it's not going to work. And if we try and play how doubles specialists play, it's not going to work. It's just how we've been brought up and what we think gives us the best chance to succeed. I mean, there's heaps of ways to play doubles, but for us, pretty much playing singles in a half court works. Yeah, but I mean, look, I don't think tonight we did anything special. Honestly, we just had good energy. We were there for each other. You know, I could tell that my legs are a bit heavy and I looked over at Thanasi, we were a bit quiet early on. I just told him like, let's just get moving, you know, yeah. my legs are heavy as well. Like it's a big moment. None of us have been there before. I just tried to stay positive and you know, we just played solid. We served, I thought we served incredibly well and the big points and we just, I think we were just better. And that's like, could have gone a couple of points here or there. Like that's doubles as well. We got very fortunate this week in some of the matches that could have gone either way. So we just played the big points very well these last couple of weeks. Last two in the room. Then is, um it's well documented what you've been through with your f physical situation. A month ago, two months ago, could you ever dream to have been in this situation? No chance. No chance, honestly. I mean, I knew, I knew what I was capable of, but you always, you always have doubts and you always think to yourself, what if it doesn't happen? What if my career doesn't plan out the way I want it to? Or what if I never win a title or get a chance like that? And to have the summer I've had, I was stoked with making a semi-final in Adelaide, just coming from not much in a tour event, and then to win, and I was like, okay, it can't get any better than this, and then to win a Grand Slam after that, I mean, this month's been unbelievable for me, and I said, I said to my team after, whatever happens, if I snap my knee tomorrow, this was after Adelaide, I'm happy, I've won a title, I've done, coming from kind of where I felt was the lowest low, to come and win a title in my hometown was incredible, and then it's just a big weight off my shoulders. It's a testament to my team and everyone that stuck by me through a lot of hard times. And hopefully this is a start. But as I said, if this is, this is as good as it gets for me, I'm happy. Uh, That's great atmosphere in the stadium, but obviously a couple of people ejected. I mean, what's your kind of view on what you've created this week and, and where that potentially align is for the audience and spectators? Oh, I would say that we've created probably the best atmosphere that this tournament's ever seen, um, to be brutally honest with you. Um, Ash's father came to us and said the crowd was the best he's ever seen and obviously Ash is a hell of a player but I think the ratings speak for themselves people watch my matches every ma everywhere I play around the world the stadiums are full for what for that reason so I don't think those people that the screaming out four points are produced from us that's not nothing to do with us to be honest um, but there's a reason why the the ratings are the way they are and people are glued to the TV when we play so um, speaks for itself really We'll take a couple of online questions. Our first one, Ben Rothenberg, New York Times. Oh, so this comes in for the final. Yeah, you know, you, you earn it. Good, good job, guys. Um, uh, a couple things. With the way the rules work, you guys are pretty much on pole position for a Torino spot for the year in championships by winning a slam. Is that something that you would you would plan on on reuniting for potentially? If you, Because uh, I think cause the way the rules work, if you're a slam champ, you kind of get that one foot in the door already. Uh, there. I mean, we're not going to turn ATP finals down. I think... Uh, dude, <laughs> dude, I mean, all I'm saying is the ATP are pumped if we're there, bro. <laughs> I didn't, I, we didn't expect to make ATP finals, especially after playing one tournament for the year together. It's pretty, pretty fucking crazy, really. But yeah, I mean, we'll rock up for sure. See what happens. I think everyone's going to want to beat us, but that's fine. 
I don't think anything changes. And then the second question, this is a, a strange question for me, but I was curious about it throughout watching your matches to not see. Does Nick touch your butt as much when you're not on court together? Because it yes, seems more. Fun. Probably more. Yeah. More. It's not for the cameras. Okay. Yeah. More. It's just how we bring that camaraderie up, you know? Much more. Do you like it, Ben? You do, don't you? And we'll take our final question, James Gray, iNews. Um, I've completely forgot what I was going to say. Thanks, guys. Um, congratulations. Um, you must be thinking, I mean, I appreciate you probably more thinking about what guest list you're on tonight. Spoiler alert, I think it's all of them. Yeah, um, let's but... wrap it up. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, quickly, um, Grand Slams the rest of the year. Is this the kind of thing where, you know, you might end up playing Wimbledon, French Open, US Open, that kind of thing on your radar? I'm not playing the French, and I'm not playing Wimby Doubles, so maybe just US, and then finals. There you go, I'll just try and find someone else. It's fine. <laughs> Didn't even enjoy it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just wants to rock up for the ATP finals end of the year, reckons. It's all right. <laughs>